Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Math with Mullins. Today we're going to be looking at our last lesson of chapter 11, surface areas and volumes of spheres. We'll be able to find the surface area and volume of spheres today. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we've got, and this should be included on your formula sheet, is finding the surface area of a sphere. All you do is you take 4 times pi and then radius cubed, and that'll help you find the radius of a sphere, or sorry, the surface area of a sphere. Just make sure a surface area is what covers the outside of a sphere, not necessarily filling the inside. So we'll talk about that here shortly. Go ahead now and pause the video here. Try to find the um, surface area for each one or the radius, and then click play when you're ready to check. All right, all I did was I used my same formula of 4 times pi times radius squared to find surface area. Okay. So through that formula, for number 1, I'm going to do 4 times pi, and then my radius is 20 squared. Um, if you use the pi button, you might get something slightly different than me, but for the most part, you should get something around 5,024 square feet. Number 2, slightly different because now we're given the circumference. So what we need to do first is figure out, well, what does this mean? Circumference can be found by doing pi times diameter, so that means diameter is 6, so radius is equal to 3. So now I can use my formula of 5, 4 pi r squared. So that's 4 times pi, 3.14 times 3 squared, and I'm going to get 113.04 feet squared. Okay, And then the radius of the sphere Right now, I'm given the surface area, so I'm going to write 30 pi is equal to, and then my surface area formula, 4 pi r squared. Um, the nice thing is when I start to try to solve for r, I'll start with so dividing both sides by pi, and those can cancel out. So all that's left is 30 is equal to 4 r squared. The next thing I'm going to do, divide both sides by 4, and I'm going to end up getting 7.5 is equal to r squared. So my final step is just to find the square root of 7.5. And I'm going to get about 2.74 meters. <clears throat> the next thing we're going to look at is volume of spheres. So the volume of spheres can be found by taking 4 thirds of pi and r and multiplying by r cubed. Um, a lot of times this formula trips people up. So what I typically say is do the same thing you were doing for surface area. So 4 pi r cubed this time, but then divide your answer by 3. Okay, So just keep that in mind as we work through some of these. Let's go ahead and try this one. The volume of a soccer ball, I'm going to do 4 pi r cubed and then divide everything by 3. So that is 4 times 3.14 times 4.5 cubed and then divide that answer by 3, I should get 381.51 inches cubed. Again, if you're clicking that pi button instead of typing in 3.14, you're getting something close to me, but maybe not spot on. All right, the next one. The surface area of a sphere is 324 pi square centimeters. Find the volume. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use surface area of our formula, 4 pi r squared, and try to solve for r so then I can go and find the volume. So my surface area is 324 pi, and that's equal to 4 pi r squared. I'm going to go ahead and do a big chunk here. I'm going to divide both sides by 4 pi to get r by itself. The nice thing is that pi's cancel out, and 324 divided by 4 is 81. So 81 is equal to r squared, so that means r has to be 9. So now I can plug that back into my volume formula of 4 times pi times 9 cubed, and then divide all that by 3, I should get 3,052.08 cubic centimeters. Okay, let's flip over in the back and have you try some examples. Go ahead and maybe pause the video here. Notice that this composite solid has a hemisphere inside of a cylinder, so instead of adding your volumes, you might be subtracting them. All right, hopefully by now you've had a chance to try this. So to find the volume of this composite solid, we're going to take the volume of the cylinder and subtract the volume of the hemisphere, not just regular sphere. Hemisphere just means divided in two or divided in half. So cylinder can be found by doing area of the base 
times the height, so pi times 2 squared, because that's my radius, times my height. And then my hemisphere is still going to be 4 times pi times radius cubed divided by 3, but then because it's a hemisphere, I'm going to divide all that by 2. Okay. For my cylinder's formula of volume, I'm getting 25.12. And for this hemisphere, I'm getting 16.75. Whoops. And then subtracting these two, I'm getting about 8.37 cubic inches. Okay. Next up, go ahead and pause these as well. Try these on your own, and when you're ready to check it, click play. All right, the radius of a sphere is 5 yards. Find the volume. Easy peasy, we're just plugging that into our volume formula. 4 times pi times 5 cubed. Divide everything by 3. You should get about 523.33 cubic yards. And then the diameter of a sphere is 36, which means I'm not using that number. I'm using half of it, which is 18 for radius. So volume is 4 times pi times 18 cubed. And then dividing that number by 3, I should get 24,416.64 cubic inches. Okay. One more because number seven, I forgot to give you the picture of it on your notes, so we're going to scratch number seven, but try number six. The surface area of a sphere is 576 pi square centimeters. Find the volume. Pause the video now. Try number six by yourself, and when you're ready to check it, click play. All right, so we know surface area is 576 pi, and that is going to be equal to our surface area formula. So if you check back the front of your sheet, surface area formula is 4 pi r squared. To solve for a radius, so I can find the volume, let's divide both sides by 4 pi. Okay, that is going to help me cancel out my pi's, and then 576 divided by 4 is going to be 144. So this is already working out nicely, is equal to r squared, so that means r must be 12. So now to find the volume, I'm going to do 4 times pi times radius cubed, or 12 cubed, and then divide all that by 3. You should go out, get about 7,234.56 cubic centimeters. Okay? Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Tune in next time when we just prepare for our final exam, the last bit of our geometry year. Have a great day.